Wayne here with Tri-County Locksmith Service. Today we're going to go over some padlocks. Uh, there's lots of different brands, lots of different styles and sizes, uh, round ones, shackle covers, um, you know, all kinds of different locks. Uh, so today I want to go over which ones work the best. Um, right now we're going to set these aside and I'll just kind of go over these. These are high security locks. Uh, these are definitely the best, but uh, at a price tag over a hundred bucks for some of them, uh, 500 for some of them, and over a thousand for some of these locks. Um, they're kind of out of the ballpark for today. Today I just want to go over ones that you can get at the hardware store. Um, so if you're looking for the best of the best of the best, Medico makes great locks. Um, Asa Alboy makes one, a great one. They're out of Finland. Uh, that lock is about 500 bucks. Today. So, pretty expensive, but if your application demands it, then you might need it. Sergeant Greenleaf make a great one. Uh, this one's got all sorts of high security measures in it. It's got anti-grinding plates, um, but it is about 1400 bucks, way out of the price range of most people. So today I just kind of want to go over what's gonna, what you're going to find for under 50 bucks at the hardware store. Um, and of course you got Master Lock, uh, you've got a Stanley, um, and just a kind of junky old Caterpillar Lock. This right here, um, it only requires three wafers in here. Uh, they're really easy to pick, and I don't even think the shackles harden. So these are pretty much junk. Um, mostly what you're gonna have is right here. Um, what you really need to look at in a padlock is you need to have a list of things that you're looking for. Uh, like right here. The size of the padlock, bigger is obviously better. The shackle material, um, look for a alloy or a hardened, uh, like a carbide. Um, the key size, this, let's see here. This is a master lock key and it only has four pins in there. And this is a Stanley key and it has six. So it increases the difficulty of picking uh, tremendously to have more pins in it. Um, and so that's just a really easy way to gauge right out of the gate what kind of lock you're looking at. Um, Anti-drill plates are starting to become more common and the material that the pins are made out of. Now I'm going to go over all that stuff um, right here. Okay, so right now we have this padlock here. It looks like a big heavy duty padlock. It's got the same shackle thickness as this one, um, but it's only got one two three four five pins in it so five isn't too bad this is an okay lock it says hardened on there um hardened is a whole lot different from alloy and we'll do a little test on that here shortly too so just based on what you're going to look at um if this said alloy or carbide it'd be a lot better and it having five pins is better than four but not the greatest um these locks here uh, are just same thing, hardened steel out here, and then these are the four pin ones, so these are pretty low security grade. Um, one of the ways I can show you the difference between hardened and non-hardened steel is right here. We'll take this lock just like that, and we'll put some bolt cutters on it. These are good HKP bolt cutters, and I'll apply a little bit of pressure. <clears throat> Not enough to cut it, but you can definitely see the impact and the indent in there. That made a pretty significant mark. Whereas if I do that to this carbide lock, <clears throat> same amount of pressure, you can see that it scratched the surface of the paint, but it didn't really do much to it. So there's a big difference in, uh, in the steel. Uh, the carbide and the alloys are always going to be way, way harder than just plain hardened steel. Locks are really about marketing, so 
they're trying to sell you security without giving it sometimes. So when it says hardened, it's not as good as a carbide or an alloy. Um, one of the other things here is we'll just talk about the difference between four and six pin cylinders. In all of these locks here, master, master and master, all of these is inside here. Inside here is the key cylinder. This is all that's in there. That's all that that is. So that key goes right in there like that, and that's all that's securing your lock. Um, on the Stanley, these big Stanley locks, you have a full six pin um, case like this. So that is much, much more secure to have a system like this. Um, plus the Stanley locks also add security pins like this here. They have a couple of these spool pins in there, which makes them very, very difficult to pick. When somebody attacks a padlock, they're either going to be cutting it, so the shoulder shroud is important, the material of the shackle is important, they're going to be trying to cut it with bolt cutters, or they're going to try and cut it with a grinder. Um, the material in here is going to slow that down. Or they're going to try and pick it. If you try and pick the lock, this is going to keep people out right here a whole lot longer than this. Um, so, the other thing is, is people are, are drilling locks out now too, um, like here. This is very, very easy to drill. It's a lot easier to drill these smaller four pin cylinders than these larger ones. Um, Stanley also puts uh, stainless steel pins in the top. They use stainless steel uh, pins top and bottom. So as you're trying to drill into the lock, it'll deflect it one way or the other. It's a lot more difficult to drill these. And they have an anti-drill plate. Basically this plate right here is all hardened. So most of your common drill bits aren't going to be able to drill through that. Or if they get into here, it's just going to spin this plate if they try and drill that. Um, it's also, like I said, the, the stainless steel pins, if you do hit it directly on the pins, it's going to try and steer that away and deflect it. Um, so that's a whole lot of information to really take in when you're thinking you just need to lock up a gate or, or whatever it is. Uh, but as far as a storage unit um, or something that's more valuable, you're going to have more valuable things, it's really a good idea to pay attention to what you're buying. So if you come to the store and you see two locks like this in their packaging, um, this one has a ASTM rating of six. Well, it says shock test. Well, what does that mean? It, is, it withstands an impact. Okay, so they're telling you that it withstands an impact, but that's not really a security rating. This one here actually has an actual security rating of five. Okay, the reason it has that rating is because it's got the long keys, it's got the carbide shackle, so it's got an alloy shackle, it's got an anti-drill plate on the bottom, and it's got anti-pick pins. So all of that put together makes this a very, very, very quality lock for the under the $50 range. I think these are about 25, 30 bucks. Definitely a good lock. Whereas this is trying to trick you to think that it's as good as that, or these master locks here are trying to trick you to make you think they're as good as that when they're really not. Um, these, these puck locks here, people think these are great, and they are because it doesn't offer very much shackle room, so they, they did solve the problem of people cutting them off with bolt cutters. However, it is pretty easy to drill these out. There's no, there's no anti-drill plate there and it's got a very, very tiny cylinder inside of there. This has the same cylinder as this right here. Um, so really going with something full shackled like this and large key cylinder inside here is always the better solution. I think Stanley really has the, the better locks right now that you're gonna see at your hardware store. Once again, there's always high security options like I showed you earlier. 
but they're really, really expensive and you're really gonna have to have a good reason to spend that much money on a good lock. So as you're walking down the aisle, keep in mind size, shackle material, key size, shoulder shroud, anti-drill plate, and pin material. And you'll be able to pick out a much better lock than you normally would. Um, you can't really rely on the advertising. You know, this one right here says it's a number one lock. Well, really, I think the other one's better. So, um, the, other, the other thing with the Stanleys is they're actually uh, Schleg cylinders, just like this, so you can rekey them. Uh, so for having a job site or having a bunch of locks together for a farm or a ranch that you're going to be using in a community, having these, you can actually rekey them. You can key them all the same, so you can uh, have one key operate multiple locks, or you can key them, you can master key them, so you can hand down keys, um, you know, have lower security areas and then higher security areas and just hand out the lower security keys. So you can key these just like a door uh, or, or an office building. They really, really put a lot of thought into these and I think they're a really good lock for the price. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps you pick your next padlock. For more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Thank you.